Brother Billy, uh, as you can see, I have my old man pants on. They're old man pants because they got their suspenders, you know, the fucking thing to hold his pants up because suspenders, you know. I, I'm wearing it because in a month, in a month and a few days or whatever it is, I'm, I'm gonna be. Well, I'm in my eldership already, but I'm gonna be a little bit older. So I'm an old man. But you know about the old man thing? I got an email. Let me say something. I got an email from this guy, Alton Maddox Jr. Now I know him because uh, he's an attorney for, out of New York. And so I used to record a lot of these, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, on these forums. I used to record. He's be one of those people on the forums speaking about you know injustices and stuff like that. Anyway, his email starts off by when well, he's talking about the how do you call it? The civil, the silver rights people, the silver rights people, silver with S I L V R, but the S is with a dollar sign in it. And what he's basically saying, and what he's saying, he's illustrating in a way, is that those people that came out that civil rights movement, I'm talking about the Southern Christian people, right? Uh, they have sold themselves. That was a, what's that? It's like a. 40 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver, or something like that, to, to Jesus thing. But that's what he's talking about, because he's talking to these civil rights Christian kind of people. He's saying that they've sold out the movement for mm. their pieces of silver. It's very slick how he's, he says it, you know what I mean? Mm. And it's really, it actually really true, because those people, all those people, all they do right now is they, 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 they how you say, they, they pimp, <laughs> they pimp the system, you know, and they, they jump up front and try to be the leaders, but they're taking money. You see, and I'm going to leave those people alone. Here's, what, here's what's happening in the world to them. Well, actually, this reflects what's happening in the world. People are not taking this anymore. Give you an example. There's a thing that's happening now that, that, that they may be labeling it the Black Spring, meaning that black people in the United States, especially young black men or black men or black women, everybody, they're not taking it anymore. But it's a whole lot of assault on black people. I'm saying black people because I'm talking about black Americans. I forget all the proper things, whether they do or not. These are black people getting beat up by white supremacists, white racist policemen. They're supposed to protect them? No, they're trying to protect property. They don't even want What they're doing is annihilating a whole generation, more generation of black people. In other words, they, they done did it through the, the court system. They jailed everybody. Now the people that's left, they're trying to kill them off, kill them off. But it's not just here. It's not just the, the states. This is all over the world. But things are happening, it's upheaval, there's revolution. I don't know if it's revolution, but let's call it revolution. Think what happened in Greece, you know what I mean? The elections, the, the, the left wing is taking, and right now in Spain, the same thing. You know, even here, in the University of Fort Hare campus, think about this. There was a big political shakeup. The Student Representative Council, they're, 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 they're not the same people that were there like a month ago. So there's a lot, and this is an earth shattering thing that happened too. People were like, knocked out. So things are happening. I'm hopeful. Because, you know, I got to have hope. No, I don't. I don't have to have hope. I can be a battler. Okay, anyway. I'm, I'm hopeful that you know, things can turn out the way they're supposed to turn out. We have some justice. Anyway, this is just me rambling on about justice and peace and stuff that's happening on these days. It's good to be around these days because, you know, <sighs> struggle. Don't you just love it? I look to continue out. Oh, by the way, this has been a dispatch from the Arts Director Emeritus. That would be me, T, from the Madison's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.